Fellow citizens, above your national tumultuous joy, I hear the mournful wail of millions, whose chains, heavy and grievous yesterday, are today rendered more intolerable by the jubilee shouts that reach them. If I do forget, if I do not faithfully remember those bleeding children of sorrow this day, may my right hand forget her cunning, and may my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth to forget them, to pass lightly over their wrongs, and to chime in with the popular theme would be treason, most scandalous and shocking, and would make me reproach before God and the world. My subject then, fellow citizens, is American slavery. Standing there, identified with the American bondman, making his wrongs mine, I do not hesitate to declare with all my soul that the character and conduct of this nation never looks blacker to me than on this 4th of July. Standing with God and the crushed and bleeding slave, I will. In the name of humanity, which is outraged. In the name of liberty, which is fettered. In the name of the Constitution and the Bible, which are disregarded and trampled upon. Dare to call into question and denounce, with all the emphasis I can command, everything that serves to perpetuate slavery. I will not equivocate. I will not excuse. I will use the severest language I can command. What point in the anti-slavery creed would you have me argue? Must I undertake to prove that the slave is a man? There are 72 crimes in the state of Virginia which, if committed by a black man, subject him to the punishment of death. What is this but the acknowledgement that the slave is a moral, intellectual, and responsible being? Is it not astonishing that while we are plowing, planting, reading, writing, having among us lawyers, doctors, ministers, and poets, moving, acting, thinking, planning, living in families as husbands, wives, and children, and above all, confessing and worshiping the Christian's God, and looking hopefully for life and immortality beyond the grave, we are called upon to prove that we are men? What, am I to argue that it is wrong to make men brutes? To work them without wages? To beat them with sticks? To flay their flesh with the lash? To hunt them with dogs? To sell them at auction? To send them to their families? Must I undertake to prove that a system thus marked with blood and stained with pollution is wrong? No, I will not. I have better employment for my time and strength than such arguments would imply. At a time like this, scorching iron, not convincing argument, it is needed. For it is not light that is needed, but fire. It is not the gentle shower, but thunder. We need the storm, the whirlwind, the earthquake. The feeling of this nation must be quickened. The conscience of this nation must be roused. And the hypocrisy of this nation must be exposed, and its crimes against God and man must be proclaimed and denounced. What to the American slave is your 4th of July? I answer, a day that reveals to him the gross injustice and cruelty to which he is the constant victim. To him, your celebration is a sham. All your religious prey are to him mere fraud, hypocrisy, a thin veil to cover up crimes which would disgrace a nation of savages. Go where you may, search where you will, roam through all the monarchies and despotisms of the old world, and lay your facts by the side of the everyday practice of this nation, and you will say with me that for revolting barbarity and shameless hypocrisy, America reigns without right.